showed you the fire detector loops. If you get a overheat in, in the engine nacelle, let's say number one, engine nacelle overheats and it sends a message up here. These light, these light up, okay, and you get an alarm, right? And the first thing you do when this lights up is to stop the problem and pull this back. What that does is it cuts off hydraulic flow to and from the engine and fuel flow to the engine and it isolates all electric um, power to and from the engine. It completely cuts off the engine. And then you wait a while. If you shut off the fuel, the fire could put itself out. And you wait for a prescribed period of time. If the light goes out, the problem's solved. You fly on the other three until you land. But if this light stays on, that means there's a fire burning inside somewhere. Now you got to do something different. And you can discharge some fire extinguishers into the problem. And these are left bottle, right bottle for the same. If you push this, it'll discharge the left bottle. You wait, it should put out the uh, fire. If it doesn't, you got a second bottle you can discharge. And 99% of the time, it will put out the fire. But if you don't have to use these, you don't. So usually, the problem stops. You cut the fuel, the problem stops. But if it doesn't, you take the next step. These are normally in that position. This is the cut isolation step. A lot of people think when you pull this, that discharges the fire extinguisher. No, you have to do it with a button. That just isolates the engine. So the power is inside, inside the engine? Those bottles that blow the fire extinguisher uh, agent uh, depends on the airplane. Some are stored in the pylon. Some are stored in the wing leading edge where there's room for it. So.